Hello, it is Monday, December 26, 2011, at 3.34 p.m. Central Standard Time. I wanted to put before you an article in CNN US today that um, basically a medical helicopter carrying three people crashes. And this was Monday, December 26th at 12.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. CNN. A medical helicopter carrying three people crashed Monday morning in Florida, said the Federal Aviation Administration. The Mayo Clinic has confirmed that two of its employees were on the helicopter headed to the University of Florida in Gainesville to harvest organs. FAA spokesman Kathleen Bergen said the chopper crashed at approximately 5.23 a.m. Eastern Time, about 20, excuse me, about 12 miles northeast of Palatka, Florida, which is just east of Gainesville. Bergen said the helicopter was owned by SK Jets, which, is not, which has not commented on the accident. There is no word on whether anyone survived the accident. And what I wanted to show you is early this morning, I think it was about 4 a.m., I made this video about crazy radar in the southeast, and, and I'll put a link on there so you can see it, but we had beams coming out of Doppler radar all, all over the place. You can see I don't know, little pieces of them here. If you go watch the video, it'll be clear. Unfortunately, I didn't include <laughs> right where I'm going to be talking to you about, but you can see the areas all around it. And I'll try to pay attention next time the Lord says to do something. <laughs> oh. um, let's see. I want to show you. i got to get the get it organized here. And this and this. Okay. Here's Jack. This is this is later in the day, so this wasn't at the time of the crash or when all the crazy radar was, but this is just to show you that this is where Jacksonville, Florida is here, and it's on the map right here. And Palatka is right here where the A is. And there's been these beams coming out of the Doppler radar in Jacksonville, and they're, they're continuous, except for they flash to some degree also. Now someone has suggested that it's a beam coming out of the Doppler and hits an antenna and bounces back, but then the line goes all the way to the end of the radar, and that just makes no sense to me <laughs> whatsoever. But maybe it's true. If someone could show me how that would work, that would be nice. But in any case, I'm wondering if I mean, if these are showing up on the radar continuously, they must have some kind of a high frequency to them, higher than, than the normal, because normally, you know, like this Doppler, you're not seeing big beams coming out like this all the way around. And so if you look at this one right here, and you follow it down, I put a straight edge on it, and basically it comes right down to, to this part of Florida, you know, where the flat is right here. So what you do is you do, do the same over here. You take a straight edge on Jacksonville and you draw a line right down here where that flat edge is. And it just so happens that Palatka is right in the line of this beam. So I just wanted to bring that forth as a, as a possible reason as to why that helicopter crashed. So there you have it. God bless you. Well, as often is the way of the Lord the answer was right before me, but I <laughs> missed it. Here's my loop from last night. Um, I did have a better one, but this will work. Um, down here you can see the time is at 10.15 UTC. I've got it set at, and the time of the helicopter crash was at 5.23, which equates to 10.23 in UTC time. So this is right before the crash. And I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see at 10.15 we've got a beam that's coming out of Eglin Air Force Base right here, a pretty intense one, coming out of the Doppler there. Going forward a frame, two frames. Now you can see at 10.22 we've got a beam coming out of Jacksonville. You can see it right here. And then at 10.29 we've got another one coming out of Jacksonville going this way. Another one going up this way, and there's still some going on over here in, let's see, that's that, that Alabama, I guess. So th there's other things going on, but I'm kind of focusing in right here. 
and then this is at the time of the crash. Well, no, that last one was 1029, was just past it. And then 1033, we got one coming out of, I think this is Charleston, South Carolina, kind of meeting with the one here in Jacksonville. And then at 1040, which is the end of the loop, the Doppler changed mode and it went into precipitation mode. Although I don't really see that there's any clouds right there. And you can see that the beams change somewhat too. Let's see if I can, I'm going to go back a few, zoom in here. It, hopefully it's not too pixelated. I'm going backwards now. 1008. 105. So there you have it. Um, hopefully this clarifies to some degree. God bless you.